the patient to the BRF V600E microsatellite stable uh, and BRF V600E mutated tumor, stage four, I'm assuming widely metastatic. I mean, if it's BRF V600E. So first line, Fulfoxiri plus Bev for eight months, then progressed. Second line, Encorafenib plus Cetuximab for seven months and appears to have progressed. Assuming that for this one patient, you know, the performance status is still relatively well, would I do TAS-102 plus minus PEV or REGO? So let me start with, you know, my preference, if, if the performance status is within like zero to one, my preference would be to go with REGO Uh I think the data uh, with the dose escalation strategy is a little bit more appealing. Uh, the subgroup of BRAF mutations didn't do any worse. Uh, than that with the uh, BRF uh, uh, unmutated. And so, uh, you know, there's a theoretical uh, targeting of BRF with regorafenib, although again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on it. Uh, but but regorafenib would be, would be the preferred agent. TAS-102, you know, is also reasonable. Uh, I, I just, again, you know, uh, I'm not uh, uh, impressed with its activity versus the dose escalation strategy. Uh, that that we published, you know, and 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 uh, and and you know, as we've shown in, in the study itself, and actually in clinical practice. Now, the data with bevacizumab is very intriguing. So, TAS one hundred two plus Bev, you know, appears to have uh, uh, per, perhaps uh, a little better activity than TAS one hundred two in phase two randomized studies. This is being confirmed in phase three randomized studies. I started using it, you know, uh, a while ago. I did TAS-102 plus BEV on few patients. And in all frankness, you know, wasn't really impressed with the added value of BEV. And so I stopped. And now I just do TAS-102 when, when, when indicated uh, and waiting for the results of the study before going back to adding BEV if, if the study is positive. So, you know, not, and then in just simple words, you know, this, this patient that probably would go for, with regorafenib if a good performance status if not, I probably would consider TAS-102. I, I wouldn't consider bevacizumab at this point. And I know NCCN guidelines added this, I think put it at the category 2B, you know, which is a lower level category. Uh, but you know, I, I, I think uh, waiting for the study and then we'll see uh, uh, you know, how it looks before, before you know, going back to re-examining this.